Hello students, a very hearty welcome to the English world of Aradhya. Myself, Rashmin sir, teaching English to the students of standard 9 to 12 in English medium. Students, if you remember, we were doing your second poem, Wind. In my last video, we finished the explanation of the poem as well as we had seen the figures of speech of half of the poem. Now, in this particular session, we will see the figures of speech of the remaining lines and also we will discuss the question answers of the poem. So, yeah, last time we had stopped till crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. Now we take your next line and what figures of speech it has. The wind got winnows and crushed them all. So, if you look at that particular line, the word here, yeah, yeah, the sound, sorry, the sound W, W, W sound is repeated through the words wind and winnows. So, it is alliteration, okay. So, it is alliteration and again for alliteration you can say the and them. The sound is repeated through the words the and them. So, it is alliteration. Again, the same line also we can say is what? Climax. Because in the first stanza, first part it is said, the wind god winnows, any one action, and crushes them all. After that, it crushes. So, the actions are arranged in the proper sequence. So, it is climax. Okay. So, uh, students, here the wind god is also given the quality of winnowing and crushing. So, that is why it is personification also. Okay. Next line, he will not do what you tell him. Again here, the words will not and what repeat the wa sound. So, it is alliteration. He will not do what you tell him. Again, wind is given, made a human being, he. So, it is personification. And the negative word will not, not is there. So, it is litotes. So, in this line also you get uh, three figures of speech. So, come let us build strong homes. So, come let us build strong homes. Now, this line is addressed to all the people. If we want to make friends with wind, we need to make strong houses. We need to build strong houses. So, it is addressed to all. So, that is why that particular line is apostrophe. So, come let us build strong homes. Okay, then let us join the doors firmly. Again, it is addressed to all the people. So, again you can say it is what? It is apostrophe and doors are a part of a house. So, you can say it is synecdoc. Okay, practice to form the body. Again, that line is addressed to all the people that you need to practice to form the body. You need to make your body firm. So, that is also apostrophe, okay. And the body represents the entire human being. So, it is synecdoch as well. Make the heart steadfast. Steadfast means firm, I already told you. So, make the heart steadfast. Again, it is addressed to all the people. So, apostrophe. And heart is a body part. You don't have to make only your heart steadfast, but entire body steadfast. So the figure of speech over there is also <coughs> sorry, synecdoc. Okay, now we come to the next line. Do this and the wind <coughs> sorry will be friends with us. So here W sound is repeated through the words wind will and with. So, the figure of speech over there is alliteration and it is also climax. Here two actions are talked about. Do this, itna tum karoge, then the wind will be friends with us. So, first you do that, then wind will, will be friends with us. So, it is climax. Okay, and it is addressed to all the people. So, it is apostrophe as well. The wind blows out weak fire. The wind blows out weak fires. So, again, W words wind and weak represent the 
was sound so it is alliteration wind is given the quality of blowing out so again it is personification okay and here students it also stands for weak fires also means the people who are weak hearted so in that sense if we take then it is metonymy it is talking about the people with the weak hearts he makes strong fire roars and flourish okay so he has the power he is again given the quality he means here wind wind is made a human so that's why it is personification he makes strong fires roar and flourish so fires and flourish f sound is repeated in that line so the figure of speech is alliteration he makes the strong fires roar so he is given the quality of making the fires roar and flourish so that's why it is personification now we move on to the next line his friendship is good so again students you see it is a sentence which is for which we can say paradox is suitable his friendship is good wind's friendship is good but wind is too powerful then it may not be proved good or if it comes at the unwanted time then also his friendship is not good so it is a paradox okay his friendship is good and his wind is again over here made human being so it is personification we praise him every day we praise him every day this this line particular line is again spoken in too much extent it is an overstatement so we can say that it is figure of speech over there is hyperbole we praise him and we are just praising him wind is give, made him means human so that's why it is personification okay wind is a non living thing we cannot make it make him human but here it is made human so that's why it is personification and this state, uh, particular line is an overstatement so it is also uh, hyperbole okay or exaggeration whatever you say so with that students we come to the end of this uh, wonderful poem i told you what it means to us it means the hardships in our life and how we face them otherwise it is symbolical as wind is uh, causing damage to so many things and crushes them all the hardships also can make such damages in our life and can crush us but we need to be strong against them then only we can be successful and then only the wind will be friend with us so hardship ko hum kya hai gale laga do whatever uh, if you have seen one old movie in that one particular character is advising amitabh bachchan मुकद्दर को अपने गले लगा दो ये मुसीबत को अपने गले लगा दो तो मुकद्दर तुम्हारे कदमों में होगा और तुम मुकद्दर के बादशाह होंगे अंडरस्टूड सो मुसीबतों को गले लगा दो मुसीबतों को अपना लो फिर वो मुसीबतें तुम्हारे कदमों में होगी मुकद्दर तुम्हारे कदमों में होगा एंड यू विल बी द बादशाह ऑफ मुकद्दर सो सिमिलरली हियर ऑल्सो वेन यू फेस दिस हार्डशिप्स वेरी ब्रेवली देन they will be friends with us okay then they cannot do any harm to you so that is what the message of the poem students now let's look at the question answers of this poem what are the things the wind does in the first stanza so in the very first stanza it is clearly mentioned that it is breaking the shutters of the windows okay it scatters the papers all over the place it is uh, throwing down the books from the shelf okay uh, then it is also tearing the pages of the books it brings the rain all those things are done by the wind in the first stanza now have you seen anybody winnowing grain at home in a paddy field what is the word in your language for winnowing what do people use for winnowing so students as shown in the picture the two ladies are winnowing the grains they are separating the grains from their husk this is the old style many years back when machinery was not available people used to separate the grains from their husk this way okay uh, they have one particular tool in their hand in which they would take the grain and then they would drop it from a very high so the husk of the grains would 
fly away and only down you will find the heap of grain okay it may be called by different names in different languages now we come to the next question what does the poet say the wind god winnows so the wind god winnows all these houses doors rafters wood bodies lives and hearts and crushes them all that is the answer of that question what should we do to make friends with the wind now if you want to make friends with the wind we need to build strong houses we need to join the doors firmly we need to be firm of the body and we need to remain steadfast we must make our heart steadfast then only the wind will be friends with us now what do the last four lines of the poem mean to you the last four lines of the poem say that the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good and we praise him every day so if we want to make friendship with the wind okay we need to be strong enough to face it okay the otherwise if we are not strong enough the wind will blow out us the wind will crush us okay but if we are if we are strong enough then what will happen the he makes the strong fires roar and flourish so we will be able to face any such difficulty that comes in our life later on if we are strong enough okay so so uh, students once you face that particular difficulty very bravely then other difficulties won't be a problem for you because that will remain at the back of your mind that i have faced such difficulty successfully so now this difficulty this hardship cannot do any harm to me so that will remain and the last two lines is that his friendship is good okay as i explained while explaining the poem ki it is always nice to be in the company of the strong people it is nice to be in the company of the intelligent people then you will grow like them okay we praise him every day so we praise him for what he is making us he is making us strong that's why we praise him okay so uh, students here uh, next question how does the poet speak to the wind in anger or with humor you must also have seen or heard of the wind crumbling lives what is your response to this is it like the poets now students here it depends on every individual when we look at the poem it seems that the poet is speaking in the angry mood to the wind he is not speaking in the humorous way okay but what we feel i feel is he is speaking to the wind in a very sensible way okay later on first part he describes about the destruction causes by the wind but in the second part he also gives the solution so that the wind cannot do any destruction to us the hardships cannot be heavy on us so he gives solution also for that so the poet is speaking in angry mood we can say but he is also speaking in the sensible way he is not speaking in a humorous way there is nothing to make uh, fun of okay here when damage is caused to something or someone can we make fun of that person or that thing no so here he is speaking in a very sensible way first he talks about the destruction caused by the wind and in second part he also gives the advice how can we make friends with the wind okay so students uh, that you write uh, everybody we can write uh, in their own way what they feel but my particular stand is this that the poet is speaking these lines in a sensible way okay students with that we come to the end of this entire poem next time when we meet we will take up uh, your first lesson from your book moments so till then study all these two lessons and two poems learn their question answers and this especially figures of speech to score good marks in the exam thank you and have a nice day